Your girl, Super Cindy. Welcome to Just Being Nosy. Uh, look who's in the building with me, Mr. Rico Love. Welcome, Rico Love. How you doing? I'm great. So let us know a little bit about yourself. Like all the viewers on WEDR.com who may not know who you are, tell us some of the songs that you've produced music. Wise. Well, you know, a lot of people may be familiar with the term turn the light show. When you hear it on a yeah. song, you notice something I've written and produced. You know, yeah. it goes from like Sweet Dreams, Beyonce, yeah. There Goes My Baby, Usher, Heart Attack, Trey songs, uh, Ain't Worrying About Nothing, French Montana, Ball T.I., the list goes on and on and on. And it goes on and on and, and on. And then, you know, my, my own music, they yeah. don't know, which is uh, my first single. They don't know. They don't. They, yo, when that song comes like, out in yeah. the club, <laughs> that's what's up. And my new single, Be Like, that just launched a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Just dropped a video last week. So, you know, um, just stepping into the, from behind the scenes into the forefront. Right Why is your music, like, so sexy? Like, your music is, like, really, like, when you listen to the album, Discreet Luxury, and his other songs as well, mm -hmm. There Goes My Baby, songs for other people, it's like, you just want to, like, strip. <laughs> for real you know what I think is a mixture a lot of things you know mm -hmm. I'm just really honest and raw about how I'm feeling at that particular yeah. time so you know some of the songs may have this aggressive content I try to be a little bit more introspective than most people though mm -hmm. and try to find a, a good balance between the sexy the fly the fashion and everything you know so it's just a bit of, a little bit of me so if it, if it feels sexy at that particular time mm -hmm. then maybe that's what I was I was going through at the moment Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you're going through a lot of sexy. Yeah. So, um, is it true that you were a rapper with Usher? Is that how you like? Yeah, I got I got my start as a rap artist, so that's mm -hmm. why you hear it a lot of, in, in my music. Yeah. You know? So, um, I consider myself just to be an artist. Like, so mm -hmm. sometimes I may rap, sometimes I may sing, um, sometimes it may be about the production, about mm -hmm. the music, but. More than anything, I'm just an artist that, that makes music that comes from how I'm feeling at the particular time. Yeah. So yeah, I started off, I was signed to Usher's label, Us Records, and that's mm -hmm. how I got my start. And that's actually when I wrote my first song, which is Throwback, it's featured in the Confessions oh, album. Okay. And I co-wrote Seduction with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, which is also featured on the Confessions album. So, you know, that's how I really got my roots. I toured the world. I started my career touring the world with Usher on a, on a truth tour, you know. Not a bad start. Yeah, not a bad start. <laughs> you could have, okay. Yeah. Where are you originally from? I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Um, I grew up uh, in New York and then we went to high school in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, so now we will be getting into the just being nosy questions and yeah. let's get the goings going on. All right, so if tomorrow morning you woke up as a woman, what is the first thing as a woman that you do? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just being nosy. We have <laughs> questions out the sky. But if I was to woke up as a woman, what would I do? What was the first thing as a woman would you do? Oh man. I listen to some Rico Love music. Good answer! Yeah, get my day, get my mind right. I'm telling you, it works. For real. I do that, okay? All right, good answer, good answer. All right, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I love uh, vanilla bean. Oh, not yeah. just regular not, vanilla. Not regular it's vanilla, vanilla. Vanilla bean, and I like the, the ice cream to be a little soft. You know what I mean? Me too. Like, so, it's yeah. not a milkshake, but like, yeah. yeah. It should, it, it, the spoon should be able to just cut yeah. it. Yeah. Vanilla bean crew right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you speak any other languages? No. I wish I did. All I'm right. Afraid. So if you could speak one other language, what would it be? Creole. On my zones. I, would, I really would love to because it's a perfect mixture of like, French, you know, it's and just Creole, yeah, Creole. Creole is like it's just really cool breakdown, and I, and I think it's it's a it's a, it's a real sexy language. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like an urban French. I always describe. You know, it. I'm Haitian, but I don't speak a lot of Creole. Oh, you know what? I didn't even say that just because I didn't know you were no. Haitian. Did I? Well, but Be no, honest, no, 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 I had no clue. So no, I don't so, think I was just no, saying no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he wasn't trying to butter me up. But what I'm gonna say is, I don't speak fluent Creole. I know about ten words, and it'll be your survival kit. Yeah. I know how to say food, money, help. The major words and certain <laughs> foods. You're good. I'll teach, I'll give you the list after yeah, we my sign first, out. My first girlfriend I ever had was um, Haitian. And? And I still don't know any Korean. How crazy is that? Well, you was busy learning other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite feature on yourself? My favorite feature on myself? Mm -hmm. um, I've been told I got a nice smile. You do. Let me see a smile. Aww. <laughs> Colgate smile. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite?